ladies and gentlemen. You know, I was hoping by now, because there's so many people dealing with student loans, that they would just forgive it. But it just seems like Joe Biden just don't want to do that. He wants to keep this debt on people. So the student loan moratorium is being extended. So the White House plans once again to extend the moratorium on federal student loan payments through the end of August, according to multiple people familiar with the matter, including an administration official. The announcement expected on Wednesday comes as the current pause on payment was set to expire May 1st, potentially impacting more than 40 million Americans. The new August 31st extension, however, is considerably shorter than the many Democrats have been requesting. It also tees up another fight over the relief just months before the midterm elections. Joe Biden administration officials had signaled in recent weeks that they were likely to extend the relief, telling federal student loan servicers to hold off on sending out notices to borrowers that their monthly payments would be starting. The U.S. official pointed to Susan Rice, the president's domestic policy advisor, as key in the negotiations securing the extension. Since the beginning of the administration, she has advocated for each pause on the repayment of student loans, including the most recent one, the official said. The range of Democrats had urged the Biden administration to extend the pause on payments through at least the end of 2022, which would be long enough to avoid requiring borrowers to make payments just before the midterm elections. Just last week, nearly 100 lawmakers led by Elizabeth Warren and Majority Leader Chuck Schumer sent a letter to Biden asking him to extend the pause until at least the end of the year. The Democratic chairs of the Congressional Education Committees uh, had also urged the administration to extend relief until 2023. Tens of millions of people with student loan debt are once again in limbo as Washington plays politics with borrowers' uh, financial lives, as said Student Borrower Protection Center Executive Director Mike Pierce. Joe Biden needs to keep his promise to fix the broken student loan system and cancel student debt. Yeah, he really should at this point. I... I I'm just saying, he really should. As voters head to the polls in November, they will not settle for anything less. Many progressive want the payments pause extended as a precursor to a wide-scale debt cancellation that they want the White House to pursue through executive action, but other more centrist uh, Democrats in Congress and some whom are up for re-election this year had also called on the Biden administration to at least extend the moratorium into next year. Some Biden advisors had been reluctant to continue relief because they believe it undercuts the administration's messaging on the strengthening of the econ economic recovery. I don't know, how do you have an economic recovery with all this inflation out here? Uh, okay, so um, uh, though last month, the White House Chief of Staff um, signaled that the White House would extend the freeze again. The White House did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Democrats and advocates for student loan borrowers said that more relief is needed as Americans face higher costs as a result of rising inflation. 
gripping the economy, but some economists have argued that the extension itself could add to the inflation crisis. The New York Fed warned in a report last month that it expects to see a meaningful rise in delinquencies on student loans when the federal relief expires. Just forgive the th- <laughs> just forgive the student loans already. You know, I, I, a lot of things need to be reset in America at this point. You know, I, I, y'all tell me what you think about this for real. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.